Uh, this again is a set from um, CAT 2020 slot 3 LRDI. Wonderful set. Six questions, uh, but not that freakishly difficult. Let's go through this. The high-low game is a four-player game played in six rounds. In every round, each player chooses to bid high or low. The bids are made simultaneously. If all four bid high, then all four lose one point each. Okay, interesting. If three players bid high and one bids low, then the players bidding high gain one point each. The player bidding low loses three points. One, 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 minus three. If two players bid high and two bid low, then the players bidding high gain two points each and the players bidding low lose two points each. Two, two, minus two, minus two. Then after this, we should go to one player bids high and three bid low. Then the player bidding high gets three points. The players bidding low lose one point each. Three, minus one, minus one, minus one. Wonderful, wonderful. But it's interesting, but throughout the high bid is better. Right? Let's go to the last one. If all four bid low, then all four gain one point each. So bidding low is good for everybody. If everybody bids high, everybody stands to lose. So that's what you're thinking. So it's very interesting. So if I were playing this game, I would be tempted to never bid low. Because only if all four bid low, is it all right? Otherwise, you're better off bidding high. But that's the game part of it. Forget about it. Let's come to the question. Very interesting. So high, 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 high. You get minus one, minus one, minus one. Three highs and a low. One, 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 minus three. Two highs, two lows. Two, two, minus two, minus two. And then etc, etc, etc. These kind of questions is very, very intuitive, very interesting to see what are the total number of points in a round. And so if you look at this, if you, if you have all four all players bidding high, then each of them loses the point. So total number of points is minus one. If all four, four bid low, then each of them gets a point. Low, 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 low gives us plus four. In other cases, it cancels out. It's one, 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 minus three, or minus one, minus one, minus one, plus three, or plus two, plus two, minus two, minus two. You stand to lose as a group if all are high, gain as a group if all are low. In other cases, the sum total is still zero. It's a zero sum game. It just gets apportioned differently. Right? Let's go here. Look at this. Four players, Arun, Bunkim, Charu, and Deepak, played the high low game. The following facts are known about their game. At the end of three rounds, Arun had scored six points. Deepak had scored two points. Bunkim and Charu had scored minus two points each. At the end of six rounds, some scores. I can't retain this, so I'm going to come back to that. This I like. Deepak's score in the third round was less than a score in the first round, but was more than a score in the second round. In exactly two out of the six rounds, Arun was the only player who bid high. And so, we'll come to these. This seems like a like a tiebreaker to find out one final resolution. We'll come to this also, but I think we've got ourselves a brilliant starting point here. Why so? A, B, C, D. Luckily, A gets 6, B gets minus 2, C gets minus 2, D gets 2. If you add all of them up, a plus B plus C plus D, you had A, B, C, D put together, you get 4. That's brilliant. There is a positive score. So it has to have happened from that low, 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 low game. So there's one game where all four of them are bid low. So in one round, there is a low, 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 low where they've got plus 4. And then the other two have resulted in 0. Right? The other two could have been all high and all low resulting in a total of plus four only, but that's not possible because then they'll have all identical scores. And so one game has low, 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 low that we have in the back. So let's capture that. And there's a, just capturing the data, all high, three high, one low, two high, two low, one high, three low, all four low. The total points here is four, here is minus four to zero, zero, zero. In the case of our first three rounds, there's definitely one round of this. There's no round of this because then this minus 4 would have to get cancelled with that plus 4 to result in a total of plus 4. That not happened. And so we've had one round of this that we know. Let's think about this, the instance where Arun has got 6. So he's got one point here. Everybody has got one point. That game has happened. But then this guy has got to get to 6 points. That means he has to get 5 points in the remaining two rounds are it's easiest. This is one result. This is one result. It's the only possibility we'll get to six points are the three rounds where two high, two low, one high, three low, four low. 
and in both of these instances arun has put the high so this is very clear this is arun this is b c d in some order so this is a b c d that's all good in this case arun has put uh, a high deepak has scored two points bankim and charu have scored minus 2 or the minus 2 are b and c deepak has scored and obviously i'm not writing this in order i'm not doing a b c d here i'm thinking round wise what has happened these are the three rounds that have happened in some order mind you and so let's look at this so these are the three rounds that have happened so we know this much right and we also know that the hhll has been a and d have been high b and c have been low and now let's look at this this point it's a wonderful point which says deepak score in the third round was less than a score in the first round but was more than a score in the second round third round was less than one in the first round more than in the second round second round should have been minimum first round should have been maximum as it turns out this order is fine or we can clearly say this was round 1 this was round 2 this was round 3 and so his deepak score in the third round was less than the score in the first round more than a score in the second round yeah one is less than two greater than minus one so we've not only got r1 r2 r3 together we know what was round one what was round two what was round three wonderful so now let's go and take this game to the next three rounds okay. at the end of six rounds arun had scored seven points Bum bunkim and deepak had scored minus one point each and charu had scored minus five points so we get the data till six rounds we already know the data till three rounds so i want to think about rounds four five and six put together what do they account for so i want to think about r4 r5 r6 arun has gone from six to seven or arun has scored one point bunkim has gone from minus two to minus one or arun has scored one Bunkim has scored minus one. Uh, Charu has gone from minus two to minus five. Charu has picked up minus three. And Deepak has gone from two to minus one. So Deepak has also picked up minus three. Once again, we just add all of this up. We add this. Wait a second, I think I'm making some calculation mistake. Bunkim and Deepak had scored minus one point each. So bunking has gone from minus 2 to minus 1. Bunking has also added 1. So 1, 1, minus 3, minus 3. That's what they have done in the last 3 rounds. Add all of this up, we get minus 4. Or in the last 3 rounds, there's 1 round of minus 4, which is all high. There's 1 round which is all high. Again, same reasoning. It's not The remaining is not coming from this and this combined. Otherwise, they have got identical scores. So in the last 3 rounds, there's no round of four low, one round of this already happening. Lovely. So let's capture that. And so now let's come back to this. A got one, B got plus one, C and D got minus three each. And so there's one game where all of them got minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. If you leave out that game, a has got plus 2, B has got plus 2, C and D have got minus 2 and minus 2. And so, so 2, 2, minus 2, minus 2 is not just one game. It doesn't work like that. They could not have had just this game because then there will be no room for the last game. So, it's not just this. And so, it has to be some combination. Remember, if I combine this and this, it gets tricky. So, A could have got 3 points. And then a minus one later on. But if anyone gets a minus three, we are in trouble. We cannot, we don't have an offsetting plus one in the next match. Or if you think about it, both instances were just this. So A wins in one game and B wins in one game. So A has a plus three and a minus one. B has a plus three and a minus one. C and D pick up minus one, minus one in both rounds, adding up to their minus two, minus two. We are good to go. So in the last three rounds, there is there are two instances of HLLL, one high and three lows. 
So H L L L, there are two instances of that happening with A being the H in one case and B being the H in one case. And there's one instance of all four being high. Lovely. So let's put that in. Two instances of H L L L and one of H H H H. In these two instances, in one case, A is the guy who's put high. In one case, B is the guy who's put high. Which is why minus one, sorry, three plus minus one is 2, which is what was remaining. 3 minus 1 minus 1 is 1, which is what he added in the last 3 rounds. Now let's put the entire data set together. Round 1, 2, round 6. Rounds 1, 2, 3, we know. 4, 5, 6, we know. But remember, 4, 5, 6, we know that these rounds happen. But we cannot say for sure what happened in round 4, what happened in round 5, what happened in round 6. That we don't know. We don't know what exactly happened in round 4. I mean, this could have been in some other order. Could have been H L L L, H H H H, H L L L. Right, so multiple possibilities exist in the sequencing of this, but broadly these three rounds happen. This will tie up with all the data that we have been given. Once we have this, we can jump in and attempt the questions. What are the bits made by A, B, C, and D respectively in the first round? H L L H high, low, low high. In how many rounds did Arun bid high? In how many rounds did Arun bid high? 1, 2, 3, 4. In how many rounds did Bunkim bid low? 1, 2, 3, 4. In how many rounds did all four players make identical bids? Four highs and four lows. Four lows here. Four highs in one of the three rounds. Two instances. Two. In how many rounds did Deepak gain exactly one point? Deepak gains two here. Loses one here. Exactly one point here. And then minus one, minus one, minus one there. So he gains exactly one point in only one instance. In which of the following rounds was Arun definitely the only player to bid high? The only player to bid high definitely in round 2. He is the only player to bid high in one of these three rounds also. But we cannot say whether it was round 4 or round 5 or round 6. We can say for sure that in round 2, he was the only player to bid high. But in round 4, 5, 6, within that, in one, he was the only player. We don't know which one. So for sure, we can say second round. Gosh.